Hi YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we break down the cash flow statement. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back to the channel. And as I said in the intro part of this video is today we will go and cover the cash flow statement, okay? It's one of the three most important financial statements when it comes to you know, investing in particular company and when it comes to understanding the financial status of a company. So it's part of the, uh, the other two are income statement and balance sheet. For the income statement, in the examples in previous on this channel, I use the Microsoft. For the balance sheet, I use the example of Apple. And today right here, I'm going to use the Apple example for the cash flow statement as well. And the difference between all of those three statements are basically different. But the one of the specific differences is that a cash flow statement comes into specific three sections okay one of the cash flows a uh, section is operating activities so basically that's the money that company makes from the operating activities okay their usual businesses but there are other ways that company can make money or uh you know spend money so one of the one of the other parts one of the other sections is investing activities because company like apple can also invest in other companies and make money from dividends or from different type of uh, you know investing vehicles so this is the second section right here and then we have financing activities where the company like apple usually pays the dividend it's around i think the current dividend uh, yield uh, for apple is around two percent and there is also stock buybacks and all kind of stuff so there this right there is the third part of the cash flow statement and when you add all of those things up and when you deduct the numbers uh, shown here, then you get a final change in cash and cash equivalents that a particular company operates with uh, based on, on that particular period, which is actually 2018 year. Okay, so we are showing here and on the screen, you can see annual data. You can also go and check out the quarterly data. But for these examples, for this example, as I use the annual data for the income statement and the balance sheet, I'm also going to use the annual data for the uh, cash flow statement. And with that being said, let's just go, you know, straight into the content and go through each and every uh, part of the average section. So net income at the end of the uh, quarter uh, fiscal year for Apple of 29th of September 2018 was net income was 59531 uh, billion dollars. Okay, the, all of these numbers are in thousands, okay, as you can see here. So this is 59.531 billion dollars. And this is the same exact number number that you can see at the end of the income statement this right there. Okay, so that's why I had that, that's why I brought the income statement and the cash flow statement. And from there, when we have like a net income, then we have some kind of adjustments to the uh, cash flow. Okay, so we have in the operating activities the uh, activities that Apple does to make you know to operate as a company. We have a depreciation which equals to ten point almost eleven billion dollars and if we have a positive number that adds to the net income and if it have a negative number then it deducts from the uh from the from the number that they added up to from the income basically so then we have adjustments to to the net income which is also amortization and all different sort of stuff and this is basically the number in apple was 27 billion dollars then we have changes in account receivables which is basically uh the number uh that the fact that it's negative uh, i mean yeah the fact that it's negative is actually the fact the apple sold more on credit than it collected in cash okay so apple sold more on credit so it's still waiting so it's still waiting for the money comes in for uh, to this account receivables to to for that number to go in, in into positive number okay so it's basically how much uh, money apple has to receive more okay so it's more sold on cash it's currently negative so we're deducting it change changes in liabilities is basically change uh, uh how to explain this this is the how much money apple owns okay so basically this is uh apple does not own more money than it owned before so that's why this number is positive 
uh, and that's why it adds to the cash flow. Changes in inventory, also the fact that it's a positive number, Apple actually deducted, uh, app, Apple actually uh, reduced the inventory because if, if it were negative, Apple would have a negative, uh, Apple would increase the inventory because it spent more money than the uh, period, the same period last time. Okay, that's the whole idea. So changes in inventory, Apple did not spend more money. So it's basically deducting the in inventory at this point. Changes in other operating activities, it's anything that it's not uh, in uh, one, two, three, four, five categories above, and this is positive. So total cash flow from operating activities that Apple did in 2018 is 77 point almost $5 billion. Okay. Then we have investing activities, which is basically the second section of the cash flow statement. And here in investing activities, we have capital expenditure, expenditures, okay? So this is how much companies spend on the assets they need to run the business, okay? Some kind of vehicle, businesses, office, stores, machines, etc., etc. And the fact that it's negative, Apple spent $13.3 billion for, you know, I don't know, renting the office, buying the offices, buying the chairs, buying the vehicles, or buying the machines, whatever. All of this is shown here. Then we have the investments. The investments part of the investing activities part of the cash flow is basically the number that shows us how much money Apple made or spent on their investing activities. So Apple, if, if, if it were a negative number, uh, then that would mean that Apple spent more on the investments than it, it made from the investments. The fact that this here is a positive number, $30.8 billion, means that Apple made more uh, money from the investments or from dividends from other companies than it actually spent. Okay, that's that's the number. And then we have other cash flows from investing activities, which is something that's not anything that's not related to investments and capital expenditures. That's it. So when you add all of these numbers up, you have a you get a total cash flow from investing activities, which equals up to 16 point almost 16.1 billion dollars. And then final part of the cash flow statement is financing activities cash flow provided by or used and this is it this part and it, this is self explanatory very easy to understand and comprehend basically it means uh dividends paid so how much money did apple spend to you know to pay the dividends to its stockholders uh, currently for the 2018 it's been 13.7 billion dollars for the uh stockholders did it uh, buy or sell any a sale purchase of stock? It didn't change a lot, so it would be negative if it uh, bought a stock, and it, because then that would be outflow of cash. And if it sold its stock or issued new stock, then would be that would be pro uh, a positive number because more and more people would buy more stocks. Net borrowings is basically the thing. Did Apple borrow or uh, has some kind of a bonds outstanding? So if it's a positive number, it adds up to a, a cash statement. If it's negative, it out outflows and Apple uh, Apple is in negative. Okay, so it paid more. It paid more than it got. And then we have other cash flow from financing activities, which is nothing basically since 2000. I won't 15 was it. 16 so yes 15 and because of it's nothing it's anything that's not in covered in these three sections right here then we have a total cash flow when you add it all up and when you added all of these number subs as i said you get a total number of 5.6 billion dollars is something that apple has in the bank after we deduct and you know add add all of it up and deduct everything that needs to be deducted and basically guys that's it Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, cash flow, just to repeat the main stuff, uh, consists of three kind of separate things into the cash in the statement, three sections, which is, which is financing activities, investing activities, and operating activities. And a cash flow statement is part of the three uh, most important financial statements, which are cash flow statement, obviously, balance sheet, and the income statement. And with that being said, basically that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions whatsoever, please post them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. With that being said, also like the, like the channel, subscribe to me if you're new here. Like the channel if you like this kind of content, I do post on a daily basis. And thank you very much for staying until the end and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.